What's up, Saiyan Army? New workout going down today with Panda. Hello. Ever since the last video, have you hit a workout yet, Panda? Yeah, I worked out three times. Really? What's up, Holmes? Damn, I found it. All right, so Panda is in fact Try. coming back. He's not turning into a human thumb, as someone commented. No. Right, right here, right, right. Oh, oh my God. so dangerous, huh? Oh my God. We well, almost just died. Uh, anyways, I'm proud of you. Worked out three times since then getting in a workout today. Today, I'm not gonna actually take you through my workout. I've been getting some questions here and there about what I'm doing, what I'm training, what I'm, you know, just from, from other people that are injured as well. So I'm gonna take you guys through my workout, why I do it, and yeah, it should be good. Did you work out anything so far this week? No. I mean, it's only Monday, yes, so. no. <laughs> yeah. it's Monday, no. <laughs> well, you could've worked out yesterday, Sunday. Did you work out yesterday? Wait, wait. It was yesterday. Did you work out yesterday? It's a, it's a yes or a no. It's not so simple though. Oh man, today's gonna be fun. All right, so here at the gym, it's busy. So typically I'll do a hammer strength machine and kind of angle my body and try to actually squeeze both sides of my chest just to get some stimulation on the left side. Ever since I've been training one side only, have I noticed any imbalances in my left and right pec? Not, none at all, so something's working or maybe both sides are shrinking. Who knows, I don't really care. <laughs> Honestly, ever since I've got injured, I've been busting my ass. So right now, my workout schedule is I, I'm hitting the gym four times a week and on my off days, so about three to four times a week, I'm doing cardio. So I just jump on the treadmill, do like three, 400 calories, do some abs, that kind of thing. So I'm just staying very active. On top of that, I do do my physical therapy exercises about two to three times a day, which takes me a while because I added my own stuff with the, my little two pound weight. I'll show you guys later, it looks, absolutely stupid and I feel stupid doing it but it feels just great just being able to move my left arm. So Panda, how's your diet been? It's improving. Yeah? I think it's just baby steps. I think you should just focus on getting consistent in the gym first and then you know work on your diet kind of thing. What are you doing right now? I'm buying chicken breast and spinach every single week for meal prepping. Um, I need to get in the habit of eating it. Okay. I've already got in the habit of buying it. <laughs> um, Alright so what do you do with it? A lot of the times I throw it away because it doesn't taste good. Oh, so, maybe you should cook? No, I do cook. It just, I, I don't cook well. Or buy Chi-Chi's cookbook? Plug, plug. Okay, well, I'll, I'll give it a shot because all the brother, good stuff, dude. My brother's not good at cooking. I know that. So yeah, basically what I've been doing is just acting my body this way, squeezing my left pec. It's kind of weird, but what I'm doing is I'm literally contracting my right pec into my left pec. <laughs> so I'm trying to transfer the gains, you know? <laughs> Feed it going across. <laughs> What's funny is I actually get a left pec pump doing this. I think it's just from squeezing it and it's mental, but I don't care. It it's feels working, good. it's working. It feels good. This is why you don't stop working out. As I do this, it feels like my muscles are tearing. <laughs> it's so sore. Already? All right, so the next exercise we're doing is single arm lap pull downs. These are one of my favorite lat accessory type movements. So typically I'll do like my ring pull-ups or just weighted pull-ups in general. And use this as like an accessory movement secondary for my lats. These I just love. So I keep palm up and as I pull down, I turn in. The reason why I keep my palm up is you get that extra range of motion. So from here, you get that extra range. You can also squeeze into your obliques and your abs. And yes, I've thought of every exercise possible to try hit my lats on the left side some some way. Even some type of awkward type of row. Yeah, unless I'm using a heavier weight, I'm putting my bicep in, in jeopardy. There's not a lot of stuff I can do, so. If I get lopsided lats, we'll definitely see it. <laughs> see it later on. Hey, Panda was paying attention. Exactly. First time. And you're squeezing your abs? Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Keep your chest up more. Yeah, good posture. There you go, and then squeeze your abs. There you go, much better. Much better. Yeah, look how shiny your Saitama head is. Looks One punch, bitch. Today. One punch. <laughs> look at the chicken leg right there, huh? Ready to be plucked and eaten. Mm. Go lighter, Panda. <laughs> Go lighter. I don't like your form. Go lighter, Panda. There you go. 
All the way up. There you go. Okay, squeeze your last breathe. Alright, so next exercise we're doing is this mid row. It's pretty much like a rowing machine. This exercise I actually really like a lot because I can feel it on both sides of my back. I just squeeze both sides of my back when I'm doing it. This is by far probably the best exercise to do single-handedly, but feel it on both sides. Yes, Panda, you should go a lot heavier because my one arm should not be as strong as both your arms. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was so hard and I was like, wait, this is nothing. Thanks, Panda, thanks. Woo! <laughs> there you go, take your time, take your time, come on. Feel the motion in the ocean. Breathe. Next exercise, we're doing lateral raises. So what we're doing is straddling. So you can isolate that lateral head of a doubt. Typically, you'd use your other hand to lean, but because I'm immobilized, only doing one at a time. All right, so some of the extras that I've been doing um, on top of the physical therapy stretches that they had me do, um, don't tell my therapist, but <laughs> with my two pound weights, what I've been doing is I've been using a two pound weight and doing lateral raises like this and just doing about 50, <laughs> 50 of these. This is a three pound dumbbell. This is just to help with the atrophy. Something else that I was doing to help with the shoulder atrophy is when I did have my cast on, that cast must have been like five pounds or something. I would do ladder raises with the cast on, <laughs> which Chi Chi hated because she just wanted me to rest. I don't do anything that irritates my bicep or feels like where I feel any type of discomfort. And this does not irritate my bicep whatsoever. I feel a great burn in my shoulder once I get to the higher rep ranges. <laughs> and it's only three pounds. And this one, which looks real stupid, but I've been doing like a reverse fly kind of thing. We come back here and do about 50 of those. This actually gave me doms for the past couple of days because I just, I'm just trying to isolate my rear delt and my back. And on top of that, I've been doing just rotator cuff exercises. So I'll, I'll kneel down and kind of and do this kind of stuff at home to keep my rotator cuff up to par and just keep it strong. You guys, look at the shoulder. This is a man shoulder. <laughs> Oh, I can't show the other shoulder, the crab shoulder. Next exercise, quick tricep superset, doing tricep pushdowns with overhead tricep extensions. Simple, my favorite tricep superset. So I didn't, I didn't see the movie, but I think this is a spoiler, but someone commented that I look like Hulk after he, smashed, he destroys the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> I don't know. You never I saw didn't it? See, I didn't see the new Avengers yet. You gotta see the movie, man. So I look better? But you look more injured. <laughs> more injured. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Drop set? <laughs> Drop set. Every set. <laughs> what? <laughs> Another drop set? I'm done, I'm done. No, 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 I'm gonna finish this side now. Okay. That was what? Nine and a half, maybe? There's no such thing as a half rep. I mean, I guess there is if you're... What about you, huh? Oh, those are full one arm reps. <laughs> Come on. Push it, Panda. Push it. Push it. Good form. Stop using your weight. Done. Hey! Completed! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I wasn't recording. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> are you okay? I can't believe I did that. <laughs> you okay? No, I was like, I was so hard. I don't do so tell, tell them what just happened. So I just went like crazy and I put all my effort in this and I hit myself in the head. <laughs> like that. Be very careful. Can I look down? Is there any mark? I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that before. Me neither. <laughs> Alright, so finishing up this workout, we're doing leg extensions. Typically I'll do, I'll superset leg extensions and hamstring curls and do the leg press machine. Not the machine, the plate load machine because I don't want to be an asshole and leave the weights on because it's kind of tough with my arm and everything. But yeah, the other machine, the pin loaded um, leg press machine, I usually superset calves after that as well. And that usually is my full body workout. But because Panda, we have to film actually an anime video after this and Panda's running short on time. We're just going to finish up with leg extensions and get the hell out. Yeah, pause at the top. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Hey, you can see your chest or your jacket with this lighting. Give us a little, give us a little pink, a titty bounce. 
challenging. Whoa. It's challenging. Oh. All right, so that's the end of the video. That's pretty much the workout I'm doing about four times a week. I feel great after hitting the workout. You know, a lot of times I do feel frustrated because, you know, this injury sucks. You know, injuries suck in general. And, you know, a lot of times I think about how I used to train before, how I used to look before. And I know, you know, right now I just, this is the worst I've looked in probably 15 years, you know, since I started lifting. And it's all good right now. I'm just focused on the future. That's the key to hitting your goals is just not focusing on the now. Not focusing as things are, but focusing on what things can become. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just focusing on getting better and pushing through it. And I know once I recover, I'm gonna look the best I've ever looked. I wanna put together my final form. I'm more motivated than ever. And yeah, we're all gonna ascend together. So I hope you guys are putting in that work just like Panda is getting back into it. <laughs> but yeah like the video subscribe if you're new to the channel for online coaching email me gokuflex at gmail.com it's pretty much summer already but we'll get you shredded anyways for programs and apparel check out sayinarmy.com and we'll see you guys in the next video much love shantanada aloha peace easy